This is the way the world ends. Absolutely eaten alive. Oh my, just torn apart like a chicken leg. Absolutely just devoured. Devoured, man. Didn't even have a chance. They... Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Why? Well, guys, uh, no one expects this, guys. Zombies. You're saying, Jay, there's not really any new zombie stuff. What are you going? You're just going back to the old zombie well? I am going back to the old zombie well. You know why? Outlaws at Thunder Junction has a bunch of zombie stuff coming up. Some really good zombie stuff coming up. It's time to dust off the old undead guys and get them back into action. And there's a couple of new things that I wanted to try. A little graveyard resurrection, a little bit of crazy stuff here and there to try to, you know, make something a little bit more snazzy, a little bit of updated. And guess what, guys? Nobody expects it. Um, we're winning in Mythic with zombies, the mere zombies. Let's get into it, guys. Before we do that, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button well, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may not know is a YouTube werewolf who will viciously claw and maul you apart for not tenderly pushing that button down there and joining the villains today and subscribing. Speaking of joining, join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live streaming goodness. We'd love to have you there. Link is in the description. Come join us on Twitch or on YouTube. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. Yes, we do live stream YouTube as well, so you can catch me in two places. This deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. Um, oh, I did that backwards. I say Aether Hub, but we also, uh, if you want to copy that, Aether Hub's the place. Also, check out our Discord community. We'd love to have you there. Uh, we'd love to have you join the Discord and say hi and ask questions and do all the cool stuff that you want to do in the Discord. So, all that's in the description. Now, what are we talking about? Nobody expects this, guys. So, we're going back a little bit of ways. This is this is standard only. I know I normally do alchemy standard builds, but this is standard only. Probably one of the best zombie cards to come out in the last couple of years, in my opinion. One black, one one. When other zombie enters the battlefield that you control, put a one one counter on Champion of the Parish. What does that mean? He is a 1-1-1-drop. One, one, one he is out the gate one. And not only when you uh, play a zombie, as long as a zombie enters the battlefield. So tokens being created, anything that happens coming out of the graveyard, you don't have to play it. Anytime a zombie hits the battlefield, he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So cheap, gets to be crazy powerful. One of the workhorses of the new zombie decks. Crawl from the cellar, because that's what zombies do. They come out of the ground and then they bite you. They keep biting you and they bite you good. Um, it's just what happens. Um, this is a great way to return card creature card from your uh, from your graveyard to your hand. Put a one one counter on top of one onto one zombie you control. Then of course you can flash it back for a late game one black and three. Great little sorcery right there. I always like to throw that in there because people do play removal and this is a great way to uh, keep them alive. Uh, cut down early removal. Yeah, we're not moving too fast. We are moving quickly for zombies. But zombies shuffle a little bit. You know, they take a while to start steamrolling. It's kind of a steamroll aggro. You can get the board state set up so bad that there's no hope anymore. But you're not going to be running them down like red. So cut down is a great way to stop early stuff and just kind of slow the game down. Fester Leech. This is actually an uncommon from uh, Karlov. And um, <laughs> I've actually liked this one. Four dead and zombie leech attack, dozens nauseated. Great flavor text right there. He's a 1-1, one, one, or it is a 1-1 one, one zombie. Uh, one black. Um, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you mill two cards. Not worried about that. We kind of want some self-mill action in here for the other combos that we're going to be pulling off. And you can give him, you can make him a plus three, plus three by paying one black and one. Surprisingly effective on turn two. Hitting someone on turn two for three... Uh, is really good. Then all of a sudden you start having some of these pump ups like this, like Blade Stitch Scum, um, and he's hitting for like four or five every turn. He's a sleeper. He's kind of a little sleeper guy. Like he 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 does a lot of power, and he's surprisingly hard to kill with that pump up. Uh, not dead after all. 
If that doesn't thematically fit with zombies, I don't know what does. Not dead after a one black and instant common card. Until the end of your turn, target creature you control, whenever, when this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control with the wicked roll on it. Uh, enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever this aura is put in the graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. So if they kill you, uh, if they kill it, they're going to lose a life. That actually won me a game this run. You're going to have to wait and see what it is. Um, really, really good and thematically in in brand for zombies right there. Bitter Triumph is our other removal, one black and one. We can discard or lose three life. I actually don't mind discarding because, again, we have, like, if you know you have a crawl from the cellar and you discard a champion of the parish next turn, it costs two black to get it on the board. So, you know, you're splitting the thing right there. Or you could lose the life. We do have a slight little bit of life gain with children on the high end. Uh, that's fine. Jadar, a goo caller of Nephalia. One black and one human wizard, legendary creature, one, one. If you control no creatures with decayed, create a two, two black zombie creature token with decayed. That's fine. Every turn, another zombie token is going to be coming out, is going to be pushing down range. Constant pressure with tokens and a great way for sacrifice fodder in case you need it. And it charges up champion of the parish every single turn. Tainted adversary. Um, yeah. One black and one, two, three death touch. Already a good card. Like a two, three death touch for two is already pretty good. But you have this expanded ability on him. He's got this adversary ability, which was a big thing in Midnight Hunt. Uh, whenever Tainted Adversary enters the battlefield, you may pay one black and two any number of times. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many 1-1 one, one counters on Tainted Adversary, then create that many 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens with Decayed. So if you pay five, he comes in as a 3-4 and two black uh, Decayed zombies come in with him. If you pay him for seven, or, or is it seven, or is it eight? Uh, <laughs> big late game eight. Uh, he comes in with even more. But the thing is, hating three zombies for five uh, mana is pretty good, especially when you're charging champion of the Paris plus three, plus three right there. So we really do like him. Great blocker, great attacker. He also looks awesome with that coat and hat and sword. Uh, he's cool looking. Blaze this guy. He is our soldier, and he is honestly our soldier captain right here. One black and blue, classic Demir colors. Two, three, other zombies you control get plus one. Love to see it. Just putting damage down, just putting aggression down, just putting power down. Um absolutely put 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 four of them in there gotta do it here we're gonna go lazav wear of faces i did not know what to make with this guy but we're gonna turn him into a zombie because he can turn into anybody with the clue tokens in the card draw um i actually found i really like him i i in he's hard his mechanic doesn't make a lot of sense when you're not playing him but when you're in game it's like okay i get it uh, Demir Colors, 2-3, Shapeshifter Detective right here. Um, whenever Lazav Wearer faces, attacks, exile target card from a graveyard. Great graveyard hate right there. Then Investigate. Investigate means you get a clue token. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have Lavaz, Lazav become a copy of a creature card and exile into that turn. So you can exile your graveyard or theirs. If they have a very cool card, you can immediately have it transform into that if you pay that clue token and every time he attacks you get one so you can do it every turn or with all the stuff you've milled you can immediately turn him into a headless rider or a um blade stitch gob or something like that you can turn him into a zombie that enhances all your other zombies like headless rider when, when they die uh more zombies pop out very very cool stuff and you can do it at instant speed as long as you have that token you just pay the token and it immediately happens so you can surprise them with it it's a very cool mechanic that I really liked putting in with uh, the zombies. I think he does a good job because uh, he can just transform into whatever we want. Headless Rider, probably one of the most dangerous cards, underrated cards. I think he should be a zombie knight. Um, he's so dangerous, man, especially in Board Wipe City. Not Board Wipe Exile, but Board Wipes, people just mess up. They make a mistake, dude. One black and two, three, one, zombie. Whenever Headless Rider, another non-token zombie you control dies, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Again, what I said, maybe make Lazav another one of these because anytime a non-token zombie dies, you create a zombie token. If you have two of them, if you, de heavens forbid, that you have two of them out, you get two tokens for each time a non-token zombie dies. That means if three non-token zombie dies, you get six two two zombie tokens. I have had people absolutely mess up real bad here and they board wipe me and then they end up, they spend all their mana, it's on me. Guess what? I have five two two zombies with no summoning sickness ready to go. I throw out a blade to scob, all of a sudden 
that's a uh, five times three it's 15 damage going in they make mistakes man mistakes were made with headless rider it is a very good card uh we're gonna go with invasion of amoncat right here one black and one blue and one enters the battlefield each player mills three then each opponent discards and you draw a card very nice i love the discard draw and the force mill and it's got a four siege counter right there You've got to damage it for four. A little tricky, but when you do, you get the Lazotep Convert. Very cool guy right here. It is a 4-4 zombie, and it comes into play as a copy of any creature in a graveyard, except it's a 4-4 zombie in addition to its other types. Again, gets all of the other abilities. Amazing stuff right there. Again, duplicating like Lazotep. We are going to turn the world undead. That is our goal right there. Uh, really screws up their hands, forces discard, forces mill, maybe put stuff, good stuff in there. It also has some good synergy with Lazev because maybe you'll, maybe you'll flip something good in there. Maybe they'll have an Itali in there or something like that or a big monster and you want to turn Lazev into that. So really good. Three invasions and three shieldreds. She's an honorary zombie. I've done her a lot because Demir kind of does card draw and card... Um, card draw and force discard and stuff like that uh and force card draw on the other opponent i've done a lot of zombies with her called zombie apocalypse i just love putting her in she's just so powerful she's just gonna bring a powerhouse into there we're only gonna do three of her you could do two she's not super essential but she helps um and she get puts a late game board state presence that is just extremely aggressive and just puts pressure down two black and two four five whenever you gain life two you gain two life whenever you draw a card you gain two whenever the opponent uh draws they lose two Again, not super essential. I mean, you could get away with two of her, but she just starts putting threat on the high end. She's the biggest card we have as well. Three islands, seven swamps, three dark slicks, one restless reef, one ship, two shipwrecks, one undercity, uh, three underground rivers. I don't want to come in with too many tap lands. Um, I want to go faster. I don't really need a lot of mana in the high end. So dark slick and underground river are kind of going to be the ones that we want here. Um, two cavern of souls. You can pick uh i think shapeshifter um well he's the only one you can just choose zombie or human or something like that zombie is a great idea for cabin of souls right there we're gonna look at it right there uh standard no one expects zombies we have a rock right there 25 creatures 18 of them zombies i think the only other ones that here is for and praetor or soldier you could actually do i don't know i guess it doesn't really matter but zombie is really what you want to pick eight instants two sorceries three battles 22 lands with a 2.0 average Sure, yeah, why not? Uh, that works. You could try 21. Uh, yeah, you know, you're playing with fire with that one. You know, the shuffler will come get you with that one. Eaten Alive, not a bad one. Uh, either pay three more, uh, either pay four more, um, five total to exile a creature of Planeswalker or sacrifice a creature. Great to do with the um, the Decayed. If you're not using your Decayed, you actually have an ability that you can just sacrifice tokens. Fanatical Offering, same thing. Draw cards and create maps um to get extra cards off of tokens that you don't want go for the throats not a bad invasion of innistrad sure i know a lot of people are going to do it i already know somebody has left a comment saying why not necro duality guys i get this comment every single time that i run a zombie deck why don't you put necro duality in it it is too slow we are going fast this is a four drop okay i have no ramp it is a four drop that will see payoff on turn five i want to already be tearing into that sweet flesh by then i don't want to do a big setup for that um it's too hard it's a little bit too slow i've done plenty of necro duality decks you're gonna find them in my channel this one it's not going in there it's just not necessary uh you could of course do invasion innistrad i'm not mad at you for doing that one either i'll throw that in the sideboard you don't need it though um, so that's what we're doing. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Are you excited for the return of Gissa and Geralt in OTJ? Yes. The crazy, um, Scob brother and sister, Necromancer and Scob Stitcher brother and sister combo are coming back in OTJ. Have you seen them yet? Um, it's going to be really good guys. I'm stoked for the new zombie set. I'm stoked for OTJ. Let's get into mythic, mythic level zombies. Here we go. Biggest new mechanics. I think that that's really cool. All right. 
Lightning Bolt, no. Risen Reef. I think these tap lands are doing us more more harm than good here. Okay. Uh, how's about we do that? How's about we do that? And if he goes in for heavy blocks... Flexibility, I mean, it's, again, they, they always say it's either kicker... What do they say? It's kicker horsemanship. It's either a different way you have to block it, or it's or it's additional cost. So it's just a fancy kicker. It's just a kind of a variable kicker. I think it's a cool. I think it's a cool mechanic. Um, you know, I, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, and I think that uh, I think batch is probably going to be the most, like I said, the most significant. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of changes after batch. One with nothing, I think it's a joke. Uh, one with nothing empties your hands. And I, people make meme decks with it. People make joke decks with it, so... Boom. Let's go in. Probably might triple block. Okay. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. One with nothing is the perfect card to beat the thought sees. Indeed. Indeed it is. So let's do this. Let's do this. Exile that. Boom. Dude's struggling. I, I give him props for the struggle bus here, man. He might have the board wipe and then he'll be okay, but he might not. Uh, we'll see. I think even if he has a board wipe, I just gotta put down Shieldred and he immediately dies, unless he has a removal in his hand. But even so, I think he would die anyways. There's Aoma Dan's right there. Okay. Yep. <coughs> hey, what's up, Cthulhu Wawa? Uh, 
Ops goes first. Let's try it. Esper, everyone. Um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 Okay, let's do that. Let's put a f super leech. Super leech. Super leech. It's super leechy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oros, who? Zombies rise. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna swarm, you better have an undead swarm. Am I right? You guys fucking get it. You guys get it, alright? Uh, you fucking get it. He may play a targeted removal. He can't play a Path of Peril. And even if he plays a targeted removal, I'm gonna bring it back. Um... Oh, it's Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Alright, he's gonna do a negative three. My turn. Activate ability. Chunky. Kill you, kill you, kill you. Boom, boom, boom. That's just gonna make my job hard if you're not gone. Okay. I think this means he's gonna die. Right? I think this just means he's gonna die. Hey, what's up, Toad? Ah, uh, I am a Toad. Living in a Toad. No, that's not right. Alright, my turn. Oof. I'm gonna swing in. of otherworldly light this spell costs two less exile boom oh yeah you got to read your cards man didn't really matter what you did there even March was gonna get you Not even doing my daily quest, just playing zombies off the cuff. Discard your hand. Two or fewer lands, I can actually deal with that. I'd love to be on the play one of these days, guys. I'd it'd be super cool if I was. It'd be super cool if I was on the play one of these days, man. Well, these boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these zombies gonna walk all over you. Jing, 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 jing. All right. That boom. pop. Um, let's do blade stitch. 
boom, pop. Might lightning bolt me there. Probably will. Now he's gonna monster him out. Boom, boom. Um, okay, so we're gonna do... Leechola. Boom, and then we're gonna do... Uh, discard a card. And we're gonna say... These boots are made for walking. And that's worth what they'll do. Uh, I feel like he's gonna charge it up anyway. Oh, he, we just fucking went head to head. Okay, sure. Zombies. Boom. Boom. Mill two cards. Interesting. Okay. Duskmorn could be the uh yeah, it could be a good it could be a good batch. It could be a delicious batch of cookies. He's got an instant. Everybody hold off. He's got an instant, boys. Um city sewers. Okay, so we're gonna swing. Uh, exile card, then investigate. Then what do I do if I get him? Whenever you sacrifice a clue, uh, it'll become that view browser. I'm gonna have it become. I, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Oof. I mill two cards. All right. Fantastic. Until the end of turn. Okay. All right. Create that. The UFC fight. Yeah, we could get an undead batch. That would be pretty good. Um, any kind of new batches. I think we might get a batch. Like every. My idea is they're gonna get the. Uh, they're gonna get a batch every. Uh, they're gonna get a batch every set. I think Bloomboro. We're probably gonna get a, a animal batch. Do you know what I mean? You catch what I'm putting down. I think Animal Batch might be very, very unique. Um, that could definitely be something. He's going to flip it up. Discard your hand, then draw three cards. He's got three. My turn. My turn. Okay. From a graveyard. So we could actually do Blade Stitch Scob halfway through. Let's do that. My graveyard will get rid of Blade Stitch Scob. Two blockers. We do that. Nail two cards. Sacrifice it at the end of combat. One of those guys. Zombie. Okay. Alright. So does he have a lightning bolt and a... No, he doesn't. Kumano faces Khazan. Very nice. Boom. Scoundrel. 
He's going to discard. Triforce Cow Monastery. Swift Spear. Ooh. Very nice. He's going to send somebody in. He's doing it. No, he's decided not to. He said, no, that's a bad idea. I shouldn't do that. That's good. I'm glad he decided that he shouldn't do that. Um, unfortunately, we got to do this. That's going to be the, uh, that's the bad news. I'm afraid it's bad news. Um. Okay. He's only got three blockers. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, might as well, might as well spend the dollar, huh? Uh, my graveyard. Let's do that. Stitch Scob. Restless Reef, I walk alone. Hallowed Streets of Cobblestone. at the end of combat put down risen reef create a zombie whenever you cast a creature this turn it's going to give plus one I don't know if he can do four points of damage with one card I don't think he can now I've been wrong before no he cannot I can't believe I beat mono red with zombies that's honestly pretty cool dudes that's honestly pretty cool. Um, I'm honestly surprised at myself at that. Um, you just rolled three of the best decks in the format with zombies? Yeah, I think it's a bit surprising. I think they kind of burst through the floors and through the walls, and people go, wait, what the fuck is this? Anna Jane. Anna Jane NTG. We did kind of get the best decks. Uh, we did kind of do a tour of the uh, the best boys, huh? Who are our games against? Yeah, Boros, Esper, and Mono Red. Yeah. So, uh, that's funny. Um, this is kind of a shit opener. Uh, that's actually much better. Um, hmm. Fester Leech, return one card. Um, let's, hmm, get rid of that for right now. Dun, 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 dun. Fester, Fester Leech. I think Blight's the Scob is next. Deep Cavern Butt. He's gonna look at my hand. He's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? What in the, what in the hell, Bobby? Bobby, what in the hell are you looking at? Bobby? What in the hell? Yeah, block it, man. It's a great idea. Mill some cards for myself. Dun, 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 dun. K 
Okay, so the game just said, you're gonna flood, dude. The game was just like, you're gonna flood? You gotta deal with it, man. You gotta put up with it. It's gonna happen. Uh, you, there's nothing you can do. You're gonna flood. Yeah, children, you just, hey, you're gonna eat shit and die. You know what I mean? You're just, you're gonna eat shit and die. Um, but you gotta deal with it. Just nothing you can do. Boom, boom. Gonna gain 80 bajillion gajillion life here. That's great. Hey, what's up, Ghost? 1984. Literally, Ghost 1984, man. Deep Cavern Bat. He's gonna take my Tainted Adversary, and I'm gonna get a bunch of fucking mana here, since we're already fucked on mana. Um, yeah. March of Branched Sorrow. Boom. Bop. Boom. No blocks. Boom. There you go. Draw a card. Hey, look, it's Champion of the Parish. Alright. That. That. Swing in. I don't know. I guess the self mill really fucked us over, huh? Yeah, just no removal. Mana flooded on a deck with 22 mana in it. Not too bad, though. You really paid the shot for the rock? Hell yeah, 100 gold? Hell yeah, that is cheap for a new avatar, bro. Hell yeah. That is fucking dirt cheap for a fucking, uh, for a new fucking avatar. Goddamn right I paid for that. Goddamn right, Bob. Alright. He's gonna do Swifty. We're gonna call these ones Swifties. Because they're way too popular. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. We're going to wait on the removal. We're going to make him think he's got open goal. Because we want him to play. Alright, I, I can do that. Actually, you know what? Cancel. What is he going to do? Discard a card. I do that. Um. Let's put down a uh, headless rider. Boom. Monastery Swift Spear. I really want him to load somebody up. Okay, he's gonna do lightning strike right there. Uh, discard a card. That one. What's with the what's with the flooding? What's with the fifty percent mana draws on all these fucking decks, huh? That's fucked up, man. Do that. I 
I don't know what I don't know why that keeps fucking happening. bunch of fucking cards off the top, but might have to. Might fucking have to. Um, do that. It's a bare minimum I can do. What did he get? Witch Stalker. Alright, Kumano faces Kazan. Let's just not get a fucking... Let's not get a fucking whatchamacallit off the top. Mail, 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 mail. Okay. Okay. Boom. I get to draw a card. We're gonna flip that. Okay. Boom. Comes in as a zombie. What does it come in a version of? I don't want any of those. My graveyard. I will take a... Uh... I will take a headless rider. There we go. Well, okay. All right. Only lands. Flooding. Yeah, thank you, Zyran, for the proper use of the flood emote. You can also spell out the word flood because it happens so much here. Um, there you go. Into the flood again. Same old trip was back then. Do pop, do 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 pop. Though I made a big mistake. Try to see it once my way. A a a a. Am I wrong? Have I come too far to get home? Am I wrong? Left you here. I think he's upset. He had Witch Doctor Frenzy. He couldn't play it though, which is what he really needed. Um. I don't call it flooding because floods are natural. Good one, Lord Sephiroth. My man's just upset here. My man's just upsetty spaghetti. He is just upsetty spaghetti vonzetti. Okay, so I have to play Invasion of Amon Cat. And then, uh. Uh, I. I don't really know what to play after that. Squee, I guess. That, maybe that would get us the win. Oh, there's place to just come. Boom. We're gonna do that. Boom. Bob. It's all in the mind. We're all from the cellar. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. Um. Ooh, Twister, Texas Twister just said, ooh. That's what he thinks. He just thinks, ooh. Ooh. Um. There we go. My man, oh man, see the internet lied to this guy. They said, play mono red, nothing can beat it. No random ass fucking Demir zombie deck is gonna burst out of the ground and accidentally eat your mono red deck. It's it's flawless, it's impeccable. You're you're just, you're guaranteed, bro. Don't even worry about it. You got to mythic with it. 
No crazy thing is just gonna all of a sudden happen that's gonna bring into doubt whether or not Mono Red is really good. Because a fucking deck you've never seen before is burst out of the floor. It's not gonna happen, man. It's, gu it's gu almost guaranteed to not happen. Okay, Ops goes first. Oh, man, you know what? Um, uh, I'd love to go first one of these times, man. You know what? Why not, man? Sure. Why not? Blue? Okay, good. Have I ever played first? I have played first one time with this deck, by the way. That is not a joke. I have literally played first once. Every other time has been on the draw. So, you know. There's that. Let's hit him with this right now. I think he's going to have a counter spell coming out. I forgot to put caves down. Scoo and caves down. But let's do that. Faithful mending naturally. You're about to have the uh, uh, worst game of your life. You see faithful mending pop. Two Terzian's Mind Breakers immediately pop. So yeah, it's uh, it is a f it is a pretty fucked situation here. Um, Ternesian Mind Breakers generally are not good. Let's do this. Might catch the counter spell. Exile for as long as it's exiled. Do that thing. Boom, boom. Yeah, this is, a, this is a miserable. Whatever he's got fucking cooking here. Don't let this man cook, man. He's he's got a fucking he's got garbage for he's got some fucking garbage. Uh, let's do this. Let's do invasion of Amun Cat. Probably gonna counterspell it. Yeah, as it were. Yeah. Boom, pop, pop, pop. Can't seem to get his Ternesian Mind Breakers fucking going here. That's a shame. Um. <laughs> Can he really not get his Ternesian Mind Breakers going? Is that how bad shit's fucking shit's shit is right now, man? Uh, let's do that. Boom. Before he can even get one of his Ternesian Mind Breakers, he's gonna fucking... It goes in, it hits. And <laughs> we're gonna play fucking children. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Sunset Revelry. Okay, you got something there.
All right, here comes the board wipe. And of course, the wicked roll kills him. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Oh my god. Oh man, I'm making people rethink everything tonight, man. Every day, they, they, people are getting, speaking of Tunisian mind breakers, people are absolutely like, bro, what? Did a fucking zombie deck just beat the fuck out of me? Where, where even am I right now? Gotta be, man. People gotta be confused as fuck. Oh, man. That is hilarious. That's too good, man. That was wor that was all worth it for, for, for that. Oh, man. Good stuff. I think we can go one more. We'll go one more and try to get it off. We, <laughs> we are beating some serious decks just by confusing the fuck out of that, man. Um, I can't believe he didn't, he, he was so excited to board wipe, he didn't realize I had a fucking wicked roll on that, man. Um, he did not, oh look, I go first for the, for the second time in this deck's history. I don't think anybody is expecting the zombie, um, yeah, I think, I think the name of this one is No One Expects Zombies. I think that's gonna have to be the name of the game here, man, is No One Expects Zombies. They're so off meta, it's like, what are we even doing? Delicious Argravian Recruiter. Argivian. I know it's Argivian, but I like to say Argravian. Give us this, our daily gravy. Okay, if I can play a removal, there's Age of Adeline right there. So this is how, this is the way the world ends right here, by the way, guys. This is the way the world ends. Absolutely eaten alive. Oh my, just torn apart like a chicken leg. Absolutely just devoured. Devoured, man. Didn't even have a chance. They, oof. Devoured. Absolutely devoured. Like a whole chicken, just. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. You love to see it, man. I am so stoked for the new zombies, man. This deck is only going to get better. This is all kind of shenanigans. This is all kind of nonsense. And, I mean, looking at our record right now, we went three, one loss, and three. We did seven, one tonight with fucking Demir Zombie Aggro. I... I think people are just absolutely stunned when these things kick down the walls. Uh, and we actually a a were able to figure out a way to put new cards into this, mate. Um, we shoved some new stuff in here, and it honestly works. Faster Leech and, and Lavez. Um, overall, man, I gotta say, bro, it works in Mythic. Like, I think that's probably the highest praise that I can give it, right? Is that it works in Mythic. So, you know... Zombies, man, they're dangerous. Don't don't ever count them out. Uh, dead and loving it, man. Uh, we're gonna leave it right there, man. I, I don't think I can do better than that. You know, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye bye.